our um, adaption project, it's chronological um, stories about orcs and Craig. And this is the video we showed before. So the components of the video. So first we bought, we got this idea of um, making this animation by drawing really a, a really long set of the story and then um, put it into high speed and then um, make it an animation. And the first thing we did was um, we draw, we drew on a four poster poster papers and we distinguished the characters by different um, by different ways of drawing. And then the coloring part, we didn't really have a um, theme color, but we just pick whatever color that suits the character the best. And also, we use a lot of arrows, lines, and a little bit of text to emphasize the ideas that we want to show to our audience. And also, the movement. Um, the good thing about the video was um, we can move the camera along with um, the drawer. So, but some part of the video you saw, there's some flaw of um, camera movement, but most of the part you can see it pretty well. And one really important part about this video is that um, there needed to be distinguishing of the characters, as Nina had mentioned. And uh, the first one is Jimmy, obviously the protagonist, and we distinguished him by giving him a baseball cap because the Boston cap was mentioned in the story. But I like decided to also keep him pretty simple. As for Craig, though, he has uh, hair in his face and he looks kind of mysterious because he has plans to. Uh, create this species, but also his inventions are a bit destructive. But uh, he portrays them to Jimmy in a more of a healthy manner, as if they are going to be helpful. So that's why I made him look kind of mysterious and uh, like he's up to something. As for Jimmy's father, we know all know he's a scientist, so. Uh, it didn't exactly describe him in the book as having a beard and glasses or carrying around a flask, but I decided to incorporate these things uh, because he is a scientist and that's what the usual scientist looks like. And the fathers are considered usually having beards. As for Jimmy's mother, she has an angry expression all the time uh, to exemplify her clashing with her husband and how she left them. But also, I gave her an orange dress simply to uh, distinguish her be from the other women that I was drawing in the video. Next, we have Oryx, and I gave her childish looking hair, but also a bow in her hair to make her look younger and more like eight years old when uh, Craig and Jimmy first discovered her. The Corpsey Corps are the police force in the video, and they are muscular and have blank expressions because they're the police and kind of like trying to control things and um, they have power as police officers. And finally the Krakers. The book describes them as having green eyes and blue genitals so I accommodated for that but also kept them simplistic because uh, they, they are Craig's idea of like the perfect creation without the, all the human qualities that uh, are ones that are not desirable. So in thinking about the process, we realized that um, you lose some aspects of the text when you're going from the text to the animation. So um, in our animation, we couldn't convey all of the characters' um, emotions and thoughts in our animation the way they were in the book. Um, you also lose uh, some of the details because the text is very detail oriented just because of the nature of the writing. Um, and probably the most important aspect you lose is uh, the visual. So when you're reading the book, you have your own movie um, of the book, what's happening in your head. You have the settings and what the characters look like and um, how they interact, and you create that yourself. But in our animation, we created that for you, so you lose some of your own creativity when you're watching. Alright, so some of the benefits of turning up this novel into a video is uh, adding a tone 
to the novel. It's uh, so we added a tone that made it humorous it's to keep the audience captivated instead of monotone, which would put the audience to sleep. And um, also the flow of the story was described with arrows, as you can see in our video. That helped the audiences get each event correctly in chronological order. And also the animation in which the story was in, the video was in. It just gives it a visual rep representation of what happens in the novel instead of the audiences trying to picture what goes on. Okay, and the, so we basically ordered the point, main points of the book, which are included in the video, in a sort of type of flow that helps audiences, once again, get the, uh, get the main point of the book instead of having to deal with the stylistic uh, approach that Margaret Atwood took by having flashbacks with Jimmy and Snowman. Uh, as for the rationale, like, why a video? Well, our main goal was to present Oryx and Crake in chronological order rather than uh, with those flashbacks and with jumping back and forth to make it a lot more clear uh, for readers and also for us in making of the video. And some of the visual uh, effects and order of events, like using the arrows and drawing pictures uh, with words for em emphasis, gave a bit of a flow to make the chronological order more clear. And as I said before, the um, humorous attribute to it makes the video pretty entertaining. And uh, when it comes right down to it, it takes a very <clears throat> complicated story and makes it really simplistic and understandable for the reader. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.